Welcome to this week's Kids Connection. I'm your host, Christopher James, and this week we are with Bongo Bree up here at the Promised Land Zoo. It's a beautiful day here in the Branson area, and today I'm very excited about our feature. We are going to talk with an amazing kid that you might remember from last season of Kids Connection. We met her over at the Promised Land Zoo. Her name is Bongo Bree. She's smart, she's informative about the animals, and she's incredibly funny. Well, we're going to head over to the Promised Land Zoo where you get to meet one of our favorite young ladies here in Branson. Be sure to visit her at the Promised Land Zoo located right downtown in Branson. They're about to go through a giant expansion that is going to bring all sorts of new animal activities and adventures to the area for you and your family. But right now, I'm very proud to introduce one of my friends, Bongo Bree. My name is Aubrey and here at the Promised Land Zoo, people call me Bongo Bree. I'm 13 and I go to seventh grade at Trinity Christian Academy. I've been working at the zoo for three years at the Branson Zoo, but I've been working my whole life at the other zoo, which is in Eagle Rock, Missouri. The zoo here, I believe it's really fun and it's good for all ages of people, old, young, babies little kids and you get to do a lot more stuff depending on what you want to do. If you just want to walk around there's still a lot of interaction but if you want to do VIPs there's like a lot of really cool fun stuff you get to do. For our petting zoo area we have some baby cows, we have a baby camel, some baby emus, we also have some baby goats and regular adult goats. And through for the walkthrough part, we also have capybaras. We have um, mutt jacks and kangaroos. We have kudus. And we have lots of monkeys. I believe younger kids like the cows a lot and the baby animals. And adults mostly like just to walk around and look at the animals. They don't have a specific one. My favorite animal is the baby Fisher cat. His name is Fisher. He's really interactive and playful, and he's just a ball of fun. I like him a lot. Um, my least favorite animal would be Jabba because he goes to the bathroom on me a lot, and he's very messy. Jabba is a giant African African toad, so when he goes to the bathroom, it's a lot of bathroom. Well, my responsibilities here are to help other people find their way around sometimes, and also I help them in the gift shop, and I also help feed some of the animals, and I help my mom a lot. We're gonna have a big expansion. It's gonna be 75 acres. We're also going to have VIP tram tours and we're going to have a zoo trail of lights and we're also going to have a drive through. Um, we're also going to have a Serendeli cafe and we're also going to have a butterfly conservation area and you, we're going to have giraffes and we're also going to have otters and we're going to have a lot more animals and I know we're going to have some big fallow deer and will also be one of the biggest attractions in Branson. When I'm not helping out at the zoo, I like to grow different types of insects. Well, you pretty much you just need a bunch of oatmeal and trash. And I'm actually growing mealworms right now because I think that's the only thing my mom will let me grow right now in my room. And I also like to play violin a lot and do karate with my dad. 
When I grow up, I want to be a veterinarian and also have part-time entomologist. And I also want to work at the zoo and train some of the animals and help my mom out a lot. I hope you're enjoying our interview over at Promised Land Zoo. We'll be right back after these messages. If you've watched Kids Connection in the past, you know how much we enjoy the arts, whether it be music, painting, acting, singing. Well, this week we're going to go over to one of our favorite places, Art Parties Tonight, where you can book your own private party where they will teach you how to paint your own painting. You can do it for birthday parties, just get-togethers. But we met with one of the instructors, Shelly, and she's going to show you how to take a regular painting and enhance it just slightly so that it becomes a true work of art. So let's go over and join Shelly at Art Parties Tonight. Hey guys, my name is Shelly and I'm here with Art Parties Tonight to show you today how to do some different techniques for kids' paintings. We're going to be starting with this fish painting here and I'm going to show you how to do all of the details on the fish as well as the bubbles. So I'm going to start with my smallest brush and some black paint. And I'm just going to come in between this line here on our fish and we're just going to outline here. Next we need to put some scales on our fish. You might not be able to see those, but they're outlined in black. And I'm just gonna come here, we're gonna do a semicircle in black paint. It's good when we're doing these to kind of alternate so they don't all line up. We want them to be kind of uh, diagonal, so I'm kind of working in a line here. That completes the scales on our fish. Next we want to do some of the smaller details. So I'm going to start by outlining the eye. We've already got it uh, painted on there in white, so I'm just going to come through with some black paint and paint on there. That's going to make that white paint pop because we've got the yellow background on there. All right, so we're still working with our black paint. What we need to do now is add a center to our eyeball. You can do this one of two ways. You can just put paint on the end of your paintbrush like we've been doing, or you can take the back of your paintbrush, dip that in the black paint, and that's gonna give you a really good circle. That's the method that I prefer. We're just gonna turn our canvas upside down here. And we just need to outline all of our white bubbles in black paint. All right, we've got all those bubbles outlined, so we're gonna flip our canvas back around. And we're gonna go ahead and switch paint brushes. I'm gonna be using the same size brush, but we just need that clean tip because we're gonna be using the back of our paintbrush for the whole next part. If you can see on here, we have little dots that go all over our fish. And then we also have some dots in the background. I'm gonna start with the ones in the background. Those are just gonna mimic our little wave lines that we have. So you're just going to take some white paint on the end of your brush, just like this. You're going to try to hold it at like a 90 degree angle from your canvas. And we're just stamping that white paint right underneath all of our waves. All right, we've got all of our waves done now. So what we're gonna do next is the same thing, except now we're gonna come through on all of our scales that we drew, and we're just gonna put dots on our scales. That's still with the white paint and the end of our paintbrush.
All right, now that we've got all of our scales done, we're gonna do the same thing, but this time we're gonna come on our little fins here that we have coming off of our fish that we've already painted on there. We're just gonna go around the black and blue outline on around the sides. Now that we've got our fins done, we need to go around the entire fish. So that's still gonna be on that black line. We're just coming through and doing our dots. And that's gonna complete our dots that we have for that part. We have one last thing to do that I'm gonna show you. We're gonna go back to our other brush that has the black paint on it. And we just need to do a few more details here with the black paint. Still using the end of our paintbrush, and we're gonna come here in this tail part and do some dots that form an oval. I'm gonna start here in the lighter pink color. We're just gonna work our way down the tail fin. And then come back up. And then we have one last set to do here on the top part. And that is it, we are done with that. I'm very proud to introduce to you a brand new segment here at Kids Connection, How to Stay Forever Young in Branson. We've teamed up with the cast of Forever Young, an amazing show in downtown Branson, which you should check out. It's at the Americana this year in 2017. But we've teamed up with them to take two lucky teenagers per week out and around Branson to experience some of the adventures, some of the attractions that we have available. This week, we take you over to Extreme Dream racing with the super fast go-karts and we had a great afternoon. So let's head on over to Extreme Racing and remember you could be part of a future episode. Get in touch with us if you live in the Branson area, if you're a teenager, and if you're interested in going on an adventure with the cast of Forever Young. It doesn't cost you anything and I promise you'll have a great afternoon. We have some fantastic episodes coming up with zip lining, adventure days at the lake at Table Rock Lake. We also go over to Fritz Adventures. We do an escape room. So many adventures planned and a bunch coming up in future episodes. But right now, let's not waste any more time. Let's head over to Extreme Racing in downtown Branson. Extreme Racing Go-Karts. Hey there friends, I'm Justin Sassanella with Forever Young doing extreme racing high speed go-karts here in Branson, Missouri. It was awesome. The best thing is, is they put you in a first set of go-karts and you're like, okay, these aren't bad. These are going pretty quick. I thought they'd be faster. Oh no, that's a, just a precursor for the real deal. And then they put you in the green ones and you go crazy. You're going to have to check it out. Two thumbs way up. Definitely a chance for you to stay Forever Young in Branson, Missouri, extreme racing high speed go-karts. Hey, it's Evan from Forever Young. I'd like to thank Misha and Alex for joining us today at Extreme Racing. Boy, I tell you what, man, if you're looking for something fun to do, something fun to do, I swear, 
you will not find anything closer to NASCAR in Branson, Missouri than extreme racing. So come on down and go racing with us. Woo! Definitely the green ones are way faster. I spun out like twice without letting off the gas. I'm gonna show these boys how to drive. Uh, Justin and I had a pretty epic battle and he cheated and won in the end. I remember like the seventh time I passed Chad, he was starting to turn oh, a little God. green and eh, uh, it's not looking good. I'm Chad and we're at extreme driving stuff and uh, don't feel too good so I'm gonna get out of the camera. My name is Avila Martin and I'm part of Forever Young and we just finished Extreme Racing right here in Branson down on 76. Guys, you need to come and check this out because this place is awesome. You guys, it's, it's a great time, amazing time here at Branson and it's a great way to stay Forever Young. Peace out. And go, and see, go forever see Forever Young. young. Some of our most popular segments here on Kids Connection have involved our magic lessons. Well, I've decided to expand on them even more and teach you more magic tricks that you can do with things around the house to amaze your family and friends. Now I'm gonna take you over to my theater where I work on the Showboat Branson Bell today, and I'm going to teach you how to do some fun magic so that you can amaze your friends when you're out with them. They're very easy to do. All you have to do is practice, practice, practice before you perform. Don't watch this one time and then just expect to fool everybody. You need to practice. And if you need to review it, you can simply go online to our website, kidsconnectiontv.com, where you can find all of our magic lessons, all of our adventures, so that you can watch them over and over again and become an expert at these magic tricks. But right now, I'm gonna teach you a classic of magic. So let's head over to the Showboat Branson Bell. Welcome to the beautiful Showboat Branson Bell on Table Rock Lake. Today's magic lesson is something that you can do in any restaurant. You say you're going to show your friends a simple trick of making a quarter vanish. Now this is an old trick that you have probably seen before. I'm going to teach you how to do it. You're going to make that vanish. Now to make it interesting, I'm going to cover it up with a salt shaker. Just cover that up. Okay. Now to hide the magic, because the most important thing in magic is to keep your tricks a secret. All I'm going to do is place a napkin over top of the salt shaker. So there's the quarter. Keep your eyes on the quarter. We're going to try to make it vanish just by tapping and placing the napkin and the salt shaker over top. Well, that's not working, is it? Tell you what, let's try something different. Let's make the salt shaker vanish. There you go. The vanishing salt shaker, a classic of magic for you to do during your next family dinner. Here is the explanation for the salt shaker and the quarter trick. Now you really can do this at any restaurant. You don't need a setup. You don't need to carry anything with you. This trick has been around for a very long time and it's a great beginner trick for all of you to learn out there. Now you'll need a coin. I'm just using a quarter and the only reason is that quarters are common. I place a quarter down. You will also need a salt shaker. It doesn't have to be a salt shaker. You can use a pepper shaker if you want. It doesn't really matter. And a napkin. 
Doing the trick is very, very simple, okay? You use the explanation that you are going to tap the quarter through the table to hide the magic. You're simply going to take a napkin and cover the salt shaker, just like I did. So you place the salt shaker on top, place the napkin on top of the salt shaker. Now you wanna to try to mold it, and by that I mean you kinda of squeeze the, the napkin so that it looks like the shape of the salt shaker. So it has to cover the entire salt shaker. When I tap, I'm going to show one time the quarter is still there. I do this so that my friends on the other side of the table will see the salt shaker still inside. So tap, tap, just like so, and tap it a couple of times. Show that the salt shaker is still there, okay? When I come back one time, I'm simply going to release my hand a little bit from the salt shaker. The salt shaker will drop out and land in my lap. Okay, so I come back, I release it, okay? I come back up, it looks like the salt shaker is still there, it's not. And then it's just a matter of acting where you say, well, fine, we will make the salt shaker vanish and it is gone. Now, a few quick tips for you. When you drop the salt shaker, I would come back so that it was even with the table. That way they don't see it actually drop out. So if you come back, even with the table, you can drop it and nobody will notice I dropped it. Did you notice? Number two is that you can end this in a slightly different way where you say you're going to push the quarter through the table by tapping it with the salt shaker. You do the same thing. This time you drop it. Okay, so it's here in my lap. So we'll do it again. Drop it into my lap. You don't even have to catch it. I'm catching it just so it doesn't fall on the floor. But drop it, okay. When you push it through, you say it was supposed to make the quarter go through the table, not, and I tap the salt shaker on the bottom a couple of times, bottom of the table, not the salt shaker. So you can do it two different ways, the vanishing salt shaker or passing it through the table. I hope you enjoyed this magic lesson. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the other magic lessons online at the website. You can go to kidsconnectiontv.com to learn some free magic that you can do at home.